you know, with some guys, the, the uh, quality of the video, uh, the visual on this is going to be really crappy because I'm recording this with my messed up phone, but here I am. And anyways, I think you guys already probably heard about this, man, uh, which is that the city of Chicago is going to sue Glock handguns. And I made a video about Glocks being like the most popular gun in Chicago uh, probably a couple years ago. People people were rocking with the video because, I mean, it's, it's like a cultural phenomenon here with the Glocks. For some reason, that's the one that most of the gangbangers here are not even just gangbangers. I mean, that's the gun of choice. Uh, I, and part of it is what they're bringing up, which is they say that Glock makes their guns in such a way that it makes e makes it easy to put a switch on the gun. Okay, now, uh, let me get your guys' feedback in the comment section on what you think about this. Personally, man, I'm, I'm not with it. Like, I'm not rocking with this lawsuit, man. I, and I hope the lawsuit is dead on arrival because they're pointing their finger in the wrong place, man. Like, it ain't Glock's fault, bro. People are going to kill people no matter what. I mean, you just look at the UK, people got the knives and they're going crazy with the knives over there. Like, that's not even guns. And all these murders aren't just be, just being done with Glocks with switches. They're de being done with all type of guns. Matter of fact, I've been seeing a lot of the uh, the Smith & Wesson M&Ps popping up. A lot of them. Like, police have been seizing a lot of those, man. And people got FNs, you know, Rugers. Like, people, people are carrying everything out here, man. It's not just the Glocks. And for them to pick them out and just sue Glock and say it's because, you know, basically blaming them for our murder rate and, like, y'all are making these guns so they can put switches on them and this is what... Oh, man. Nah, you, you, would have to, you would have to sue every gun company. And then how are you going to sue them when it's not even, in most of these cases, these guns are not even legally purchased? You know what I mean? Like, these guys are stealing these things they got one guy that goes out and buys one and, and then they're you know selling them on the street people get these guns all type of ways man so you guys let me know what you think in the comments it's just an interesting it, it, it is interesting diversion from the real responsibility for this stuff you know what i'm saying to sue glock i mean they might as well sue the car manufacturers for making the cars these guys are doing drive-bys in you know what i'm saying like you, you could sue anybody i mean they were doing the same thing with the corner stores with the uh, Arab, or, Arab owned corner stores, like on the south and west side, they were closing them all down. And uh, they were saying they were be, it was because they were hangout spots for gangbangers. And it's like, bro, if they don't hang out there, they're going to hang out somewhere else. And it's like, it's not their fault, you know. I mean, yeah, any place where gangbangers hang out is targets for violence, but they're going to hang out someplace. Like, you know, I mean, they can't just disappear into thin air, like, they got to be somewhere. And wherever they're at is going to be a target. So if it ain't there, it's going to be somewhere else. Like, they, people just put the responsibility on everybody but the guys actually pulling the trigger. And, listen, I'm not here to preach politics, man, but this is part of the culture in liberal ur urban areas. They don't, I mean, they, they, like, take all responsibility off the actual killers. You know what I'm saying? And they put it on everybody else, like, everybody around them. So, yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Suing Glock. Is this lawsuit going to go anywhere? Uh, they were recently suing, like, the bus companies who were bringing the migrants. And, again, they're, they're just, like, pawns in this, in this game, too, with that whole situation. Because, okay, they were suing the bus companies, and then, you know, you can't bring them, uh, you can't bring them here in the city of Chicago. So they were just drop them, dropping the migrants off in the suburbs. I mean, the state of texas is the one sending them up here the migrants are coming on their own like they're not they're not blaming the migrants for coming they're not blaming you know the federal government for having a policy that encourages them to come they're not blaming any of the people that are actually like causing them to come they're blaming the buses you know what i mean like this is what they do bro and, and you see this as a pattern now as far as the migrants i mean i don't Personally, I don't, I don't blame anybody in this situation. I don't blame them for coming because I would do the same thing. Matter of fact, my family did do the same thing. Uh, and I don't blame Texas because they can't handle all of it. And then, you know, so, I mean, it, it's like I was saying in that video on the migrants. Like, I don't blame anybody because everyone's just doing, you know, what they think is best for them. But Chicago's, you know, 
And this is a pattern, man. It's a pattern with liberal cities. They just point the finger at everybody else. You guys let me know what you think in the comments section, man. This is your boy Chicago News. I'm out.